On September 11th, the FDA approved or authorized the Moderna and Pfizer 2023-2024 vaccine formulation for this upcoming respiratory season. The Novavax COVID vaccine is still pending FDA review, and we expect that that vaccine, which is a non-mRNA protein-based vaccine, will be approved later this fall. On Tuesday, the 12th of September, the CDC convened and authorized for use a vaccine schedule and made the recommendation that all individuals six months or older, regardless of their prior vaccine status, receive a 2023-2024 COVID vaccine for this upcoming respiratory season. Earlier this summer in June, the Vaccine Advisory Committee for the FDA got together to look at the efficacy of the then bivalent COVID booster as well as prior COVID vaccines against the most commonly circulating variants, which at the time was XBB.1.5. The determination was made that the bivalent vaccine was not giving sufficient efficacy against the new variants that were circulating, and so the FDA uh, instructed all manufacturers that plan to manufacture vaccine for approval for the fall uh, respiratory season target the XBB.1.5 variant. What we expect, although we won't know until we continue to look at variants and efficacy of vaccine, is that this exercise will be repeated on an annual basis, much like we do for the flu vaccine, where we're looking at the most commonly circulating variants and we are uh, developing vaccines to respond to those variants to give us the greatest immunity for that upcoming respiratory season. The way that these vaccines were authorized for the 2023-2024 season is that those five years and older can receive any vaccine regardless of what they received in their primary series. And for that age group as well, whether you've been vaccinated with your primary series, whether you've had boosters, or whether you've had no vaccine at all, it will be a one and done strategy. So one dose for those five years and older, regardless of your prior vaccine history. For those that are six months to four years, the FDA and the CDC have instructed that that population should and really must get uh, the, uh, the vaccine that they got with the primary series. So if an infant received Pfizer, they should receive Pfizer for the 2023-2024 season. If the infant received Moderna, they should receive, receive Moderna. There are a few exceptions to that that your pharmacy or healthcare provider can discuss with you, but that is the strategy for the upcoming season. Riverside expects that we will have vaccines available for administration starting in early October, and you can sign up for an appointment either through your primary care physician or in our vaccine clinics that will be, that will be uh, established through Riverside Online or through your Riverside MyChart access.